Hey guys, it's uh, me. Um, my Twitter account was hacked, and it pissed me off because I sent like so many people different messages about, oh, I saw a real bad bug about you. Click this link. Oh, I saw I saw a funny picture of of you. Click this link. And it's like so annoyed me because I had to delete all of them. But that's fine. It pisses me off when my accounts are like hacked. Like this is probably the second time my Twitter account has been hacked. So I set my password to like something I've never used before. And <coughs> and um that's just yeah. So I had to write it down somewhere because if I did it, I'm not gonna remember it at all. Sorry if my voice or hurts your ears. It has been sounding like this all day and I'm not liking it because I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. And it's really annoying me because I sound like crap. Um, yeah. I had something else I wanted to say. I j all I know, oh, I think it was I don't know. I just like woke up about I don't remember because I didn't look at the time but I think I woke up about half an hour ago oh yeah about 29 minutes ago exactly um, uh, <clears throat> I have one problem in math that I need to do but I don't understand it and so I can't do it and oh my gosh my voice is really bad. <laughs> it's not, yeah. But yeah, I have one problem in math to do and then I'm completely done with my homework. But like I got home from school and then I plotted the points for that one problem and then I have the two questions I need to answer. But I'm confused because it, like, I don't know, it confuses me. And then I texted a friend see, to see if she got it, and she was confused too. Cause like, um, it's the table shows the change in value in dollars of a stock over five days. Um, and question A is explain how you know the table represents a func function, and grab the data from the table. Or it doesn't say and, but there's a period, and it says grab the data from the table. And I got, uh, I got the graph, but I d can't figure out how to explain how I know it to fun represents a function because I don't know how it represents a function. I should probably, yeah. And then B is describe any trend and change in value of the stock. That I definitely don't get because it confuses me and uh, I just don't get them. It's like, put my garlic bread on my phone, probably not a good idea. But it just is confusing. <coughs> so... Yeah, I didn't get that. And then everything else I got just fine, except for I had a little troubles. Um, I cannot explain anything. Even if I know what it is or know, like, know every aspect of it, I can't explain it. And this, I don't even know anything. So that's a double, that's a double negative. And I'm like, ah, oh, that makes it positive. But like, um... <clears throat> that it just really annoys me because they in math they have you have to explain things all the time and I, I don't I'm not good at explaining things and I suck at explaining things and then if I don't know what I'm explaining then I suck even more um like there was one in one of the things there was one in one of the, um, we had to do, and, um, it just really annoys me that we have to explain things, 
or we have to describe things. Like, I don't remember which one it was, but one really got me, and I'm like, how the heck do they do this? Or like, how the heck do you explain how to get this or do that? And then describe the steps you would take. I can pretty much do that because I just write down what I do. Okay, this one, I think, this one's actually pretty easy, but like this is the one. Explain how to write 20 miles over 4 hours as a unit rate. No, that one I did not get. That one confused me. All I know is that it would have been one one uh, mile over four uh, one mile over five hours. I don't remember. Oh, I I don't remember, and it confused me so. Okay, describe the difference between an expression and an equation. That one was pretty easy because, yeah. Okay, this one I think is the one that really confused me. Describe how you can use a formula to follow to solve the following problem. The inner edges of a cube-shaped pot have a length of 1.5 feet. How much does it cost to fill the planter if soil costs $4 per cubic feet? That one probably confused me the most because it's long and I can't explain things. Um, but yeah. And then it asks you which is the independent variable and what's the in independent variable. And it tells you to explain how you know that. I think it's really stupid how you have to explain things in math. Oh well. Anyway, sorry for hurting your ears with my voice because I sound like literal crap. And yeah, and sorry, this, this went on like four minutes longer than I was expecting it to four or five minutes longer so yeah I'm just gonna stop it here and uh, hope you guys have a good day night you know what I mean and um yeah I think you should add me on Twitter if you want my account name I should probably make in a, a separate account for my YouTube oh well um I think I'll do that uh, nah, I won't. If you want my account name, just ask and I'll give it to you. Okay, bye.